What's good, Greg Gang? We're out here today. We're at this pond. We're actually going to be doing a little bit of bass fishing. And here's the lure we're going to be using. A straight up live mouse wrapped around a topwater lure. And guys, like this is real mouse fur and it's even got the ears right there too. And the mouse tail. So this is straight up a mouse wrapped around a topwater bait. Now after we get done fishing, our day's not over. I'm not exactly sure what we'll do, but I'm about positive we'll do something. Boys, I got a bird. I've got a bird trying to eat my bait. I've got a bird. Oh my gosh. Look, do you see that bird? I've got a stinking wood duck or something trying to eat my mouse. Here, oh my gosh, there he was again. I've got a stinking bird trying to eat my mouse. No one else. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. Oh man, there he is. Finally, swatter skin him. That'll work for me, just get him up here on the bank. Finally, we got one. We've been fishing here for a while. The water's really muddy, and I think, you know, we've had a little rain lately, and I really do think that's messed it up quite a bit yeah nice little bass right here on the mouse glad we finally got out here and got one i was starting to think a wood duck would be the only thing that would be interested in my lure today but apparently not got this bass and boy is he a good one he's a mouse eater now let's try to get us another one. not the best day out there i did catch one nice fish and then i did get another bite which i'd say that other bite he was probably just a hater anyways and then you always gotta factor in i almost caught a wood duck out there i don't even know what he was doing i mean i don't know if ducks eat mice or if that's the right thing they do i don't know but i can tell you right now that's what he was trying to do now if you really like to watch me fish with that mouse lure you can watch this video right up here it's of me it's a whole video of me catching all kinds of fish on one just like it so go ahead and watch that but if you don't want to watch that let's go do something so if you've read the title, you figured out what I got into. We're actually going to be squirrel trapping with a minnow trap. Now here is the exact trap. We're also going to be setting that minnow trap here in a few minutes. But first we're going to set this gigantic squirrel trap. So what exactly is this? Well, this is basically a minnow trap, except it's the crawdad trap, which means it has the bigger holes. And that is definitely big enough for a squirrel. Because if a squirrel can fit his head in there, then his body can get in there. And we put this extension on there just to make him feel more comfortable and let him go in there. Now for bait, it's actually going to be in here. And we're using peanut butter crackers. The man himself who runs this company the company's name is g's mineral traps he said hey you can use a crawfish trap and you can go out there and catch squirrels just use a little peanut butter and crackers maybe a little bit of corn and boom you're golden so what we're going to do right here is i'm just going to take my things you know and set it in there just like that and i and i'm actually going to put some leaves in there you know just to make it feel more homey for the squirrel you struggling Ken? A little bit. Okay, there we go. But now we have the problem of finding a tree to put it at the bottom of that is actually squirrel worthy. Now, right there I see a beech tree, there I see a hickory, and over there is a good oak. We got plenty to choose from, but we're going to walk up there and see where we find some shavings. Alrighty, well first, we're going to just, you know, get in here and look around for a good tree. Now, like I said, there's a good beech, there's be there's a little good beech nut patch, but I'm not exactly sure if the squirrels are on beech nuts yet. I know for a fact that they're on hickory nuts, so now we just have to look around and find me a good hickory nut tree, and then just simply set it at the bottom of it. Or look for a good oak oak tree that has like a good hole at the bottom for the squirrels to live in because they're gonna go in there every single night to sleep and now right here we just found a really nice hickory now this is a scaly bark hickory i know it's a scaly bark hickory well because bark is well scaly and that right there is exactly what we're looking for you see all these nut shavings down here those are fresh too so there's actually been squirrels right up there or i'm not exactly sure they could have been sitting down right here eating but one thing i know is that whenever they come to this tree they're ready to eat and that's exactly what our trap's going to do we're going to set that thing about right there cover it up with some lazy you know make it look a little bit natural and then boom we're going to be good and we're going to leave it here and then we'll come back this evening and check it. and so this right here is a final product we got it all in there we put some leaves in there on the bottom that way you don't feel like he's walking in a cage and we picked this location one we're on a hill and we don't want the trap to roll away so we put it up here against this little log and then once we put it here we actually noticed that well actually you can tell that quite a few squirrels to sit right here and eat their nuts and just you know the shavings right there and just eat left the nut right there so my prediction is that a few squirrels will run this thing and then a few of them will even stop here and eat and in the process they'll look over smell the peanut butter come on over here walk in and then i got this little piece of peanut butter and cracker right there so that they'll get a good taste of it before they commit and go all the way in right now we're gonna go set that minnow trap and then this evening we're gonna come back check this squirrel trap and check the minnow trap so today is a very very eventful day is it is there a bass down there yeah, so there's a bass down there this is the place we're actually going minnow trap and uh, i can see some minnows over there for sure the only problem is uh where am i how am i going to set it because you know i don't have a very long rope there he is oh there he is there he is there he is see him see him yeah there's a big old bass in there here's what we're going to do we have to get down there and set the trap so yeah let's get doing that i may actually set it right here hanging off one of those Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So fortunately, this rope is a little just long enough to, you know, set from up here. 
So what I'm actually going to do is set it and then tie it to this vine right here. And this vine, you know, it shouldn't just fall off. If it falls off, then oh well, I guess I lost some inner trap. But we'll see you this evening. Hopefully we can catch one. I might even bring my wacky worm this evening and try to catch up bass. Okay, guys, it's been about six hours since we set those traps. Trey's not with me anymore, but I am. And you're here with me. Now, right here, first we're going to check the inner trap. Then we'll go over and check the squirrel trap. But here we go. My first question, is it still here? Okay, cool. It's still here. Someone didn't steal it. Here we go. If I draw my camera, I'm pretty well going to delete my YouTube channel right here. But anyways, I'm going to pull it up, see if we got anything. First thing, we don't have nothing. Good clean out, I'll tell you that. Not one dang thing. Which is really weird, because you can stink and look in the water and see all kinds of minnows on both sides, too. And I just remembered something. I was supposed to bring my wacky worm back and try to catch this bass. I'm just going to tell you guys, I forgot all about that. But now we're going to head on over to the squirrel trap and see if maybe we didn't catch one. Because honestly, guys, I felt really good about that. I mean, I felt really good about it. Especially with all the shavings there. There was shavings everywhere, and we just set it right beside the shaving. There should be a squirrel there right now. Like, I'm going to be surprised if I don't catch one. And if I don't catch one tonight, I can almost guarantee I will by tomorrow. But anyways, you know, hey, let's get over and check it. Now, guys, it is a little dark out here. I can't lie about that. But now I just got to try to remember. Where did we put that trap this morning? Oh, there we go. I see it now. There it is. We don't have anything in it yet, but mark my words, guys. If there's not a squirrel in there tomorrow, then I'm, I'm deleting my channel, guys. I'm just deleting my channel. So basically what I'm saying is you better come back tomorrow because you ain't going to be disappointed. I'm either going to catch a squirrel or I'm announcing that I'm deleting my channel. See you tomorrow, guys. Same time. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.